Texas Democrats are urging Governor Greg Abbott to call a special legislative session to increase public education funding. School districts across the state are struggling with the massive budget deficits, citing stagnant funding levels from the state. And in a letter to the governor today, they call for lawmakers to return to Austin and send more money this summer. Our Ryan Chandler reports. Please, please fund public education. An urgent plea from Austin ISD. While staring down an $89 million deficit, they're already planning to cut dozens of administrative positions next year. They lay the blame at the state. My hope is that our legislators are paying attention to the, the pain that school districts are going through right now. But legislators can't do it alone. That's why Texas House Democrats are calling on Governor Abbott to put them back to work. It's constitutionally our responsibility to provide for the schools. Schools across the state having massive budget consequences while we sit on top of one of the largest budget surpluses in Texas history. I think you can just do the math yourself. Last year, Governor Abbott tied teacher pay raises and per student funding increases to his plan for private school vouchers, which didn't get the votes to pass. He and House Republicans have blamed the cash crunch on local districts, inflation, and the expiration of federal COVID money. Some school districts have done a really horrible job of managing their school systems. They were caught flat-footed and they're suffering the consequences. Districts will head into next year a few hundred million dollars short if the legislature doesn't act soon. If we take a cut now that really hurts our classrooms, and then all of a sudden in the spring of 2025, we realize the state actually does increase state funding for school districts, we won't be able to get that back. Ryan Chandler, KXAN News. And this just in, Governor Abbott just sent a letter back to those Democrats. The governor wrote lawmakers could have passed an education package last session in a bill from Representative Brad Buckley. Now, the measure included a plan to use public funding for private schools. The governor's letter added, quote, the makeup of the Texas House of Representatives has not changed since you rejected that proposal, which means there is no possibility for it to pass. During another special session, unless you're willing to change your position to support the Buckley bill. Another factor to the statewide school funding challenge is how much money the state gives districts per student. Data from the Texas Education Agency shows funding per student didn't change much for four school years starting at 2015. It did, however, increase in 2019, but the latest reports show it stayed the same for two school years. 